Hi everyone, welcome back to another session of Flow Builder Practice Series. So in the previous session, we saw how we can update uh, an information from a parent to a child record. And in this one, we are going to see the reverse case. We are going to update something on the child record and we will take Flow's help in order to make the, like, you know, make some information update based on the child update on the parent record, all right? So <clears throat> the scenario is, uh, when a contact is created, populate contacts email ID in the accounts latest contact email field. Okay. So I'm going to create this custom field on account and I would name it as latest contact email. Okay. And then whenever I create any contact on any of the account and whatever email ID I populate into that contact, that email ID should get stamped on the account, right? So in this case, account is the parent and contact is the child, right? And when, when I'm creating a child and I'm on, when I'm providing an email ID, I would be implementing the flow in such a way that whatever email ID I am providing on the child, that is nothing but the contact, that email ID would go and get stamped on the parent, uh, which is account in this case, okay? So let's just go ahead and start with creating the field. So latest contact email, okay? So uh, let me just go to the object manager first. So account. So before that, let me check what is the data type of the email field on uh, contact. Should be email, I believe. But if not, then you would have to. Let me just check. So email is the data type is email. So let's just go ahead on account and create a field. <clears throat> just keeping the data type same otherwise it will create issues so email and then we'll name it as latest contact email latest contact email okay and just mark it for all for now Okay, and save. All right, so I got the field created. Now let's just go ahead and create a flow. So again, this is also going to be the record triggered flow. The only difference between this one and the previous scenario is in the previous scenario, we started with the parent record, right? We, we chose account as the initiation point for the record, right? For the record record flow. But in this one, we have to choose the child because we are making updates on the child and then we are expecting the flow to like, you know, uh, update the parent. So here, record record flow. And then here we would be selecting contact as the object. So contact and whenever the contact is created, okay? And let's just keep one condition. So, so you are on contact, right? And there's a field on contact called account ID, right? So let me just quickly show you. I am hoping that you already know it, but if not, let me just show you. So contact account ID, right? So I want to make sure that uh, this account ID, okay, should not be null, okay? So basically like, you know, if somebody, because someone can go ahead and directly create a contact, right? I mean, let's say I can go here and I can create a contact and it's, it's my choice. I cannot, I mean, I can leave the account field as blank, right? So I don't want my flow to run for any contact, which don't have any associated account with it, right? If there is an associated account on the contact, then only I want to make sure that if I'm updating the email, sorry, if I'm like, you know, when I'm creating the contact and providing an email ID, then whatever account I have provided the same email ID from the contact should go and get stamped on the account, okay? So that is why I'm going to put this check that is null should be false. So there should be some account, okay, on the contact. So this is fine and this is uh, after save, right? Because we are, uh, updating on some other object, right? Not on the same object. This is contact, but we are going to make an update on the account. So that is why this and click on done. Let's switch it to free form. Okay, here. 
So here we can directly go ahead and use the update records. Update account. Okay. And here I have to specify a condition in this one. Okay. So object is going to be account because on account, I am going to make the update. Now, um, so there are two things, right? The first thing is very clear that we know that we have to actually take the email from the contact, right? Which is nothing but this, right? This is a record triggered flow. And you have chosen the record, uh, the, the object for the record triggered flow as the contact, right? So the contact is going to be the initiation point, right? So when the contact is getting created, flow will actually keep all the information of the contact in the dollar record variable, right? The global variable that we have. So two things, right? So we know that from that global variable record, right? Uh, dollar record dot email, we will get the email and we will just stamp it on the account email, right? But then we also have to make sure the account ID, right? The account ID should match. So here, account ID. So this account ID, yeah, this, so we, we are like, you know, we are making an update on the account object, right? So the, the account record should be equals to the account that is provided on the contact while creation. Okay. So account ID. Okay. So this is one thing. Now, the other thing is email, right? Because we want to update the email. Sorry, the email. Hold on. Latest contact email, right? This was the field that we have created. And this we have to pick from the record dot email. Email. Okay. So again, on this point, I want to stress on this point, but let's say that, that I'm not providing this condition, right? So you have to make sure that when you're creating the contact, the email ID that you actually want to update on the account, you don't want to update on like, let's say any random account or like, you know, all the accounts, right? You want to make sure that you want to update that email ID on the account that is actually associated with the contact right and that is why we are putting putting this check right and i am updating on account that is why i have just used id here because account record id is nothing but the account id right i mean on account object how you actually see the id so let me just go ahead and explain you this quickly so let's say i am opening an account right and this is my account record id correct so this record id is nothing but this one, right? Now let's say I am creating, so this, let me just copy this account name. Okay. Now let's say I'm going on contact and creating a contact. Okay. And let's say I'm providing this account here. Okay. So I'm just making sure that whatever account this, this fields API name is what on contact. It is nothing but account ID, right? So I'm just making sure that this account ID is equals to this account ID, right? Just to make sure that like, you know, the latest email, where is that field? Latest contact email. All right. So that is another problem because we have to include that on the layout. We'll do that. So no worries. Okay. So we, we are just making sure that the account ID, which like, you know, which we have on the contact record is like, you know, uh, equals to the account ID that we are like, you know, actually going and making the update on. Right. And then the email field and that's it. And, um, Actually, no, this, this, this part we have to set here, right? This is just the condition. So set fields value. This was latest contact email, and this will come from the record. So email. All right. So here we are check, uh, putting the condition. Okay. And here we are setting up the values, like, you know, whatever we want to update. All right. So we'll click on done this, save it. And then, um, uh, Yeah, and save. Let's just activate this. And I'll just include that field on the layout. Okay. So let me just do it from here. So latest contact email, right? Let me just keep it somewhere here. Why? Okay. I believe it's not on the layout. So let me just go ahead and quickly include this on the layout. Okay. Page layout. So 
So sorry, on accounts. The latest contact email. Okay, it's here. Let me check which one am I using. Latest contact email. I believe I've I'd added all of these on the layout. So yeah, it's there. We just need to check why it's not coming. So yeah, the field is there. It should actually come on the layout. Let me just scroll and check. Okay, this is weird. Let me create another account quickly. Okay. So let's see. Check. And then uh, we are keeping the email as, uh, sorry, the latest account. Okay, so latest contact email is here, right? Let me just save this. So latest contact email. Okay, it's here, all right. Okay, let's just go ahead and create a contact. Now, when I create a contact and provide an email ID, then that email ID should actually come and get stamped on this one, right? Latest contact email. All right, so contact, new. And then, um, Email, okay, so ABC, and let me save this. So I have created a child and I'm expecting the child to make an update on the parent with the help of the flow, okay? So you can see here, latest contact email got updated to, like, you know, whatever the value we had provided on the contact, right? So this is how you can actually make an update from the child to parent, all right? So I'll see you in the next session. Till then, keep practicing. Bye-bye.